everyone, Fed here, and welcome to part three of how to build the Skeld from Among Us inside of Minecraft. So, so far we have gotten all of this done. Now, if this is the first video you clicked on this and you want to build it, I'll have the playlist for it in the description below. But right now we're going to get started up on the shield room right over here. And this one's going to be a lot harder than a lot of the other rooms because we actually have to go down into the ground with this one so here are the dimensions for the shield room you can go ahead and pause the video here and build them out it'll help you out in the long run but i'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and start up right now now the blocks you will need for the walling and the flooring are gray concrete light gray terracotta and cyan terracotta so to get started up we're gonna come back over here to our hallway that connects into the comms room right here we're gonna take out our gray concrete and come up four blocks right next to our stone walls like we've been doing this entire time and then we're gonna come out to the left hand side where our comms room is five blocks with our light gray terracotta next up go to the right 12 blocks one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve then we're going to go up that way five blocks on a angle one two three four five then we're going to go up that way 12 blocks one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve turn to the left Go up towards the left seven blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Skip over your four blocks for your hallway and place in three. One, two, three. And then go up on an angle all the way until you reach that hallway. One, two, three, four, and five. Next up, what we're going to do is come up two more blocks with our light gray terracotta and then cap it off with our gray concrete. Now, this is where this room is going to get different from the other ones. We're going to be suspended in midair going over a walkway. So we're going to come back over here to where our hallway is, go right underneath. And actually, I'm going to change this block out real quick because it's supposed to be gray concrete. And we're going to come down five blocks underneath this hallway right here with our light gray terracotta. So one, two, three, four, five. And you're going to have to go around the whole outside with your light gray terracotta. Next up, if you built the grid like I did, we're going to have to go around and change your grid blocks now to light gray terracotta as well. And then right here for this hallway, you can also place in our dark gray concrete for that hallway. And we'll get to that later on, of course, once we're done with this room. And gray goes here as well. There we go. Now what we're going to do is fill in our entire flooring with cyan terracotta now that we have our floor in place let's actually go ahead and set up the walling on this side as well so we're just going to break out these blocks right here these blocks right here place in our stone walls like we've been doing the entire build place in your glass panes go place in your glass panes right here as well and then go ahead and change the blocks behind them to gray concrete and the same thing on the side place the blocks behind your stone now what we're going to do is take out smooth sandstone slabs and acacia trap doors and what i want you to do is hook both of these rooms together right down the center so right where your glass panes are bring this line here right from where this glass pane is bring this line right here and connect them together and do that for all three of them so right in the middle right in the middle and one more time make sure you don't turn any of them into full blocks make sure they remain slabs just like that next up we're going to bring this line down to this wall right here with all three of them there we go and then we're going to bring this line going down to the end of this wall
So right now we're looking at something like this kind of looks like an F, <laughs> an F for failure. <laughs> and then what we're going to do is make a circle right here in the middle. So right here in the corner of our upside down F, we're going to go ahead and place in three more smooth stone slabs. So one, two, and three, just like that. Do the same thing on this side. One, two, and three. We're just making the circle for the middle. Then we're going to come to this side over here and place in three. One, two, and three. And then right over there where we can see the three, we'll do it over here as well. One, two, and three like that. And then bring them up right from where the middle is. Three blocks. One, two, three. And go ahead and fill that in. And that should make a perfect circle right in the middle of your room. Next up, we're going to take out our acacia trapdoors. And starting from over here, we're going to place acacia trapdoors right down this entire line, opening them all up. Then we're going to come down one, place one here, place one here. And I'm going to turn this way, place one, and then go down this entire line with our acacia trap doors. And now wherever we didn't place one, we're going to come over to this side of it. And right off the trap door, we're going to place another one and close it. Place another one right off of it and close it up. And that'll be the trap doors for that side. Then we're going to come over here and do the same exact thing right off of them. Place your acacia trap doors. Go right down it. All the way down. Bringing it right over to where our next hallway is going to be. Same thing on this side. Turn in and placing them in. And then wherever there is an opening, go right to that trap door. Place one right next to it and close it up. And actually, I, almost, I forgot some of the uh, walkway over here. We're going to come over to this side. Break these three acacia trap doors. Completely forgot about this walkway. And bring this going all the way down to the end of this wall. There we go. And then we're just going to place more acacia trap doors for right here. And open them all up. There we go. So that's going to be the walkway. Kind of like looks like a little dude sticking, putting his arm up here and his arm down there. So next up, we're going to do the decorations for our shield room. So the blocks you're going to need to decorate the top part right here of your shield room, gray carpet, polished and sight stairs, iron bars, item frames, black concrete, polished black stone buttons, smooth stone, stone brick walls, and birch trap doors. So first off, let's go ahead and do our gray carpet that's going to make that diamond right here in the middle. So come right here from where your hallway is and just come down two blocks from where your glass panes are. So one, two, then place three carpets in like that. And then we're just going to come up three right here, going into the hallway that's going to start up our next area. Place in three carpet. And then again, make a little triangle like that. And that's going to be the diamond in the middle. Then right over here, we're going to have a few computers. So come to this corner and place in seven staircases upside down. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then place another one right here. Then off of this wall, we're going to place in two stone brick walls. One, two, place a smooth stone on top of it with an item frame inside of it. Then we're gonna swing to this side and three blocks in, one, two, three, we're gonna place a button, item frame, and iron bars. Make sure they are turned to the side like this. And then right behind the item frame, break it and place in a black concrete block. And then on the end side, we're gonna do it again. Black concrete block, iron bars, and a button that will make your computers. Then over here on this wall, we're just gonna come in one block, break it, black concrete and an item frame right there and that's going to be the entire top area done now it's time to work on the bottom area of your shield bay and we also have to do this window over here too i completely forgot about that window so you know what before we move down below let's go ahead and place in our window so right over here where we have that corner area that's going up on an angle we're just going to place in two lines of glass blocks well actually i think it's three three lines of glass blocks one two and three yes it's going to be three lines of glass blocks like that and then we're going to place gray concrete around the entire thing there we go and then we can start up on the decorations underneath so for the decorations underneath you're going to need yellow carpet yellow stained glass sea lanterns and blast furnaces so first off let's go over here to this corner that connects both of our hallways and we're going to come right down here and we're going to place four blast furnaces in right here one two three four then what i want you to do is break out all of these blocks right here one two three four go all the way to the top and stop one block before you reach the gray concrete and do that on all of these 
like that. And you know what? Let's do this one too. I don't think I did it in the other one, but let's just do this one as well. And now take out your sea lanterns and place sea lanterns wherever you broke out that wall. Now take out your yellow stained glass and place all your yellow stained glass right in front of every single sea lantern. There we go. Now we're going to take out our yellow carpet and place yellow carpet right on top of it. Next up, we're going to swing over to this side and starting one in from our window. We're going to take out our blast furnaces again, one in from our window. We're going to place one here, skip one, place one, skip one, place one, skip one, and place one. Then right behind all of them, we're going to dig out all the way to the top like we did the last time. One block from the top on every single one. And we're going to place sea lanterns in all the gaps. Place your yellow stained glass in front of all the sea lanterns. And then your yellow carpet on top of them. And there we go. Now, for this bottom area, we're going to have a bunch of yellow wiring going across the bottom. Now, this really doesn't matter. You can kind of go crazy with it. Just kind of make it look like, you know, interchanging wires. But let's just start from this blast furnace here. And we'll go down, let's say, two. And then bring it over to the wall. And then maybe just bring it all the way down to the end of the wall right over here. Like I said, you can kind of go crazy with this. I, I did kind of make it look similar to the game but honestly it <laughs> i don't think it really matters and then right here between these two blast furnaces we can come out let's say three come down one and let's just bring that all the way to the end of the wall like this there we go and then let's place let's say one coming right out of this blast furnace and let's just bring it all the way to the end of the wall to this blast furnace like that and you know let's just do one more right here and then what we're going to do is just interchange them, connect them, make them look really weird and all squiggly and whatnot. <laughs> so let's just start down here where we placed in our first ones. And let's say we want to just, you know, bring it up like this. Let's just bring it up two, bring it out like this. Down here. And then we can bring it up like that. And now let's say we want another one right here. Let's go like this and just bring it right in. And then another one right here. Like I said, you just got to make it look all like squiggly and weird and like wires, pretty much. <laughs> I wouldn't do them on an angle, though. That won't look that good down here. Just try to keep them in a nice, you know, fashion way. <laughs> I don't know how to say. Just don't put them on an angle. Don't make them go like that. It, uh, I don't think that looks that good on an angle in this room. And let's say we want to bring one like this right here. And then let's do another one over here because there's nothing really over here like that. And let's put another one like that. So that looks pretty good right there. And then over here, it's pretty barren. So let's go like this. Actually, I don't want to go that way. Let's go this way. Like that. And do, do, do. I'm just trying to go crazy with it, guys. Like I said, you don't have to follow me exactly here. Just kind of make it look really good. Well, not... <laughs> not it doesn't have to be look super good. But kind of just make it kind of look like wires just interchanging all over the place. And let's just do one here and one here. That's fine. That's, that is good enough. So there is the entire shield room completely done oh wait no we're not done never mind <laughs> we got to put in our birch trap door so later on we could put in our vent system so right here coming next to our computers right in the middle of all these blocks we're going to break this one and place in our trap door backwards like that and that's going to be for our vent system later on all right guys next up on the list we're going to be building the, the final hallway of the skeleton of course this is going to be the hardest hallway to build even though it's still not that hard but it is the hardest one in the entire build. So let's get started up on this hallway. So here are the dimensions for the hallway. You can go ahead and pause the video and build the layout. I'm going to go ahead and jump right into it. Now the blocks you will need for this build are gray concrete, light blue terracotta, blue terracotta, stone brick walls, and glass panes. Pretty much like every other hallway, except for the ones, of course, by the engine room. So what we're going to do is come down here to where our shield room is and come up right next to to all our walls there we go and then we're gonna go let's do the one closest to the front over here and we'll work our way around the outside and then go to the inside so starting from here we're gonna take out our gray concrete and count out nine blocks one two three four five six seven eight nine and then we're gonna count up that way six blocks one two three four five six go in three blocks one two three and then go up five blocks. One, two, three, four, five. Then, of course, we're going to skip over our four for our hallway. And then go down again five blocks. One, two, three, four, five. Oops, sorry. Six blocks. Go in three. 
Then we're going to go up that way six blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we're going to go in towards our weapons room right there. Four blocks. Then we're going to skip over our three blocks once again. And come out five blocks. One, two, three, four, five. Then go up five blocks. One, two, three, four, five. Skip over three once again. And then go down that line. Twelve blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, come over 2, and then just follow the line right along until you reach your shield room. And there we go. Like I said, this is going to be the hardest one of them all. Next up, we're going to take out our light blue terracotta and fill in the entire flooring. Next up, we're going to take out our blue terracotta, and we're going to place in a line right here that goes up to the front. So one, two, three, like that. Break out this block and place one here as well. Break out this one, place one in, and place in your stone walls here. And then up here at the front, we could take out our gray concrete and place our gray concrete in, and then place our walling right here and right here. Just like that. Then when coming into this room, right here in the middle, we're going to break out these four blocks. And then go ahead and interchange every single block down here with blue terracotta. Just like that. And then go ahead and place in your walls. Then over here where our shield bay is, we're going to count in five blocks. One, two, three, four, five. Break out these blocks right here. Place in your walls and place in your blue terracotta. There we go. And that should be all of them for the inside. And now we're going to go ahead and come over here to where the weapons room is and place in, of course, a line right here for our weapons room with our walls right here. And over here as well for the oxygen room with our gray like this and our walls right here. Next up, you can just come up your four walls on each one. And then, of course, right at the end of every single hallway that has our stone walls, we're going to take our gray concrete and come right up the back of the walls. So right here, then over here as well for the weapons room. Over here for the oxygen room. And that should be all of those. Now what we're going to do is take out our blue terracotta and above all of our gray concrete, come up two lines of your blue terracotta. Alright guys, and I also went ahead and just capped it off and added my glass panes to the front of all of my stone brick wallings. It's what we've been pretty much doing the past other two parts of this entire build. Now all that's left to do is just place in our camera and our birch trap door for our vent system. So coming in from where shields are at, right over here in the middle of this corner, we're going to place in a birch trap door backwards like this. And that's going to let us in to our vent system later on. And then we're going to come over here to where our front bay is. And we're going to place in a block right off of this block. Place in a skeleton skull facing in towards the front. That. And then go ahead and place in a lever and place it right underneath the skeleton skull. And that's going to be the entire hallway completely done. So now that we got our last hallway out of place, let's go ahead and do navigation next. Now navigation also has a pretty weird flooring. But let's get started up on it. So here is the entire layout for navigation. You can go ahead and pause the video and build the layout. But I'm going to go ahead and start this thing up. So the blocks you're going to need for navigation are light blue terracotta, gray concrete, and cyan terracotta for right now. And also glass blocks for the walling and the flooring. So first things first, let's take out our gray concrete. Come over here and come up the sides of our walls with our gray concrete. 
Next up, let's come out to the left over here. Four blocks with our gray concrete. One, two, three, four. And then we're going to go that way. Six blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then on an angle, we're going to place in three blocks. And then we're going to go that way. Six blocks as well. Well, actually, I think this is seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. And then we're going to go that way. Three blocks. One, two, three. And then just go ahead and swing it back down into your door. Next up, we're going to fill in our flooring right in the middle. Don't fill the entire flooring in. Just fill right here in the middle. These three wide gap from the hallway with blue and bring that all the way down just a three wide gap from the hallway with blue then i want you to take out gray concrete and fill in this row with gray concrete and the row next to it with gray concrete and then we're going to fill in the rest of the flooring with our cyan terracotta on both sides we will still have to make changes to the floors later on but we're not going to worry about that right now Next up, what we're going to do is come over here to this little archway we have. Take out your gray concrete and off the first block that comes out from the side, come up four. Do the same thing on this side. Come up four. Then we're going to take out our glass blocks and fill in two rows of glass blocks right in between them. Just like this. And then go ahead and cap it off with your gray concrete. There we go. Now what we're going to do is make another cap right above it with our gray concrete and then fill in the middle with your blue terracotta on both sides. There we go. Next up, I want you to take out your red concrete and starting right from underneath this door, we're going to change it to red. Come out one and then bring it all the way out to the corner. Bring it all the way down. One, two, three. Three blocks, just come out four from the corner. One, two, three, four. And then come in four. One, two, three, and that should be four over there. And then right in the middle, we're going to break these two blocks. Place in two blue stained, blue stained glass. And you know what? This would have made it easier on this side. We're going to go right through the middle with our gray concrete. I completely forgot to do that. I was wondering why I was so confused there for a second. It's because we have to go right between the middle with our gray concrete concrete like that now it's gonna be a lot easier to place in the red line over here so starting right from underneath this wall we're gonna place in our red concrete come out one bring it all the way to the corner bring it all the way to the corner of our gray and then bring it down see how much more <laughs> that was so much more easy there because i forgot to put in the gray concrete then we're gonna do the same thing we did right there place in our two blue stained glass right in the middle then we're gonna come underneath our build with our sea lanterns and place sea lanterns right underneath both of those blue stained glass blocks and then come right back up top. Then we're also going to place a line of gray concrete right here. And then we're going to skip up three blocks, one, two, three, and place a line of gray concrete right there as well. And that's going to be the entire flooring completely done. So now we're going to go ahead and do the decorations. So the decorations for this room are quite simple. We're going to come right here to the front and off these two gray blocks, we're going to place in two slabs, two slabs, place in three slabs upside down and then come out two slabs next up we're going to take out some light blue carpet and place in three right here one two three place two item frames in between them and then we're going to take out some hearts of the sea and place two hearts of the sea next up we're going to take out some dark oak fence gates look backwards and place in your fence gates and open them up then right behind those fence gates we're going to place in some polished black stone stairs Next up, come to the corner over here. Take out your smooth stone slabs once again. Come up two, one, and two. And then off the two end caps, we're going to place in some item frames with some hearts of the sea facing towards us. Like that. And then place in some light blue carpet. And then right here, we're going to place in another staircase facing towards the front. And do the same thing on this side. Two slabs, one upside down, two slabs, two item frames, two hearts of the sea, facing towards you and then we're going to place in our staircase like that with our light blue carpet in the middle then over here on this wall one block away from our table right here we're going to place in a black concrete block and we're going to place one one away from the wall over here and place in two item frames then we're going to take out some birch trap doors and right in the corner we're going to break this block look backwards and make sure you place in the birch trap doors so when you open it up it opens up towards you like that 
and do the same thing on this corner as well. Break the block, look backwards, place it in, and that's going to be for both vent systems. And that's the entire navigation room completely done. Next up, we are going to do the oxygen room. So here is the layout for the oxygen room. Again, you can go ahead and pause the video and build the layout to help you out in the long run, but we're gonna go ahead and start up on this build. So the blocks you'll need for the walling are gray concrete, light gray concrete, and for the flooring, it's going to be cyan terracotta. So let's look over here and place in our gray concrete right next to both of our doors. There we go. And you know, let's go ahead and go towards admin bay right over here. So let's take out our light gray concrete and come out three blocks, one, two, three. Then we're going to go ahead and swing that way. 13 blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Then we're going to go that way four blocks. One, two, three, four. And then on an angle, we're going to go seven blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six. And well, nope. So you can go six and then seven, I guess, right here. Come up two and then go out that way six blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then back in with three. It's a pretty tight fit, guys, here. So it's going to be kind of hard to mess it up. And even if you do mess it up and not get the right spacing, you pretty much have all this room to work with. This this wall right here isn't being used except for the oxygen room. Next up, we're just going to bring those up two more blocks and then place our cap of gray concrete. So go around the entire thing with two and then put your cap. Once you have your walling in place, go ahead and take out your cyan terracotta and fill in the entire floor with your cyan terracotta. So to get started up on the decorations for your oxygen room, we're going to need a light blue stained glass, furnaces, smooth stone, large ferns, sea lanterns, dirt, ferns, grass, and gray concrete. So I'm going to come right over here to the right hand side. And what I want you to do is dig down a block here, a block here, and we're going to place in some light blue stained glass. Then right underneath that light blue stained glass, we're going to come down two dirt blocks. One, two break it and place a fern and go across this whole entire bottom area to this light blue and place a fern in here and go ahead and just place ferns all over it. Then we're going to come right underneath and right next to these stained glass, we're going to place in sea lanterns and then place sea lanterns around the entire edge of your dirt. Just like that. So now when we look at it from the inside, it will look like some, it will look something like this. There we go. Perfect. Then right here in the middle, we're going to place a dirt block with a large fern on top of it. Take out your furnaces and place furnaces in backwards around the entire thing. Then we're going to take out some light blue stained glass and come up to in front of all of it. And then right above it, we're going to have to place in some carpet. So take out some blue carpet right here. We can get rid of that large fern. It's no longer needed and place blue carpet right along the entire top. Then we're gonna take out some smooth stone and place smooth stone here and here, just like that. Next up, we're gonna swing over here to this side, take out your gray concrete. And from this corner wall, we're gonna come out three, one, two, three. And we're gonna bring that going all the way down to the end of our hall. Well, <laughs> our wall, I mean, there we go. And then we're gonna skip over three blocks. One, two, three, break these two, place it in. Skip over three blocks. One, two, three, break these two, place it in again. One, two, three, break these two place it in and then come out to the end of this wall as well. Then right here, we're going to break out all of these blocks in the middle of all of them. There we go. Same thing here, break out these. And then inside of all of them, we're going to place in our glass blocks. Then we're going to come down here and then right underneath all of them, we're going to take out dirt, come down two blocks of dirt and just wrap that going around all the way underneath your glass. Till we get to the end one right here like that and then just bring out another line going all the way down and now just interchange ferns and grass on all of these blocks you can put them anywhere you want it really doesn't matter just you know interchange them up just a little bit here and there so it looks a little bit different when we look down there there we go you can also place other things down here as well it's completely up to you then we're going to take out our sea lanterns and bring sea lanterns around the whole outskirts of our dirt there we go oops too far 
all the way down. And then we're also going to have to change out these back blocks right here to gray concrete wherever you could see it from the glass. So let's just skip over two, change those two, change those two, these two here as well. There we go. We just want to make sure we can't see any of those black and white concrete blocks. And this is what it will look like from the inside. Next up, right above this glass over here in the corner, we're going to take out some blast furnaces. And right here at the top of our light gray concrete, we're going to place one, two, just like that. Again, one and two. And then we're going to come out just one right here, come to this side, and place in your furnace for off the front and off the front there as well. So we don't see the front hand side of your blast furnaces. But if you want to see it like this, you're absolutely free to do that. But I don't like seeing it, so I just covered it up like that. And now what we're going to do is just skip over... Now what we're going to do is come down here now and come one in from the wall and do the same exact thing we just did over there. So two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. I don't like seeing this front hand side. So I'm going to go ahead and switch them up like that. There we go. And then we're going to do one right in the middle. It should be two blocks away from each one. So there should be a two block gap. So just count over three, one, two, three, place it in. And as you see, one, two, three, place it in and it'll fit in perfectly. So there we go. Place them in backwards. And that's going to be all the piping for the top area. Then we're going to swing over here. And we're going to need some item frames and slime blocks. So right here off this block, we're going to place in four item frames with slime balls inside of all of them. And then off of this block, we're going to place a lever. Next up, take out your smooth stone and place in one, two, three smooth stones like that. Next up, place slabs above all your smooth stone and then place a hopper going into the side of the middle one. Then over here in this corner, we're going to take out some stone brick walls and place in two stone brick walls. And that's going to be everything for your oxygen room. All right, guys, so this is it. This is the last room, and then all we have to do is the vents, and we will be completely done with the skeleton. So last up on the list is going to be the weapons room. So let's go ahead and get started right up on this, and then we'll finally, we'll finally be done. So here is the layout for the weapons room. You can go ahead and pause the video and build the layout. It'll help you in the long run, but we're going to go ahead and start up on this right now. Now, the blocks we will need for the walling and the flooring are light gray terracotta, gray concrete, and cyan terracotta for the flooring. Now, what we're going to do is come right down over here to the hallway that leads over to navigation and oxygen room, and we're going to take up our, you know what, actually, yeah, let's just take our gray concrete and put it up the sides of our walls like we've been doing this entire time and let's do it over here as well and then we'll jump into actually counting out the blocks for the last time oh boy <laughs> been at this for a while so i'm very happy that we're on the final stretch so let's just swing over here to the wall that's near navigation we're going to take out our oh, light gray terracotta and we're going to count over six blocks one two three four five six heading towards navigation then we're going to swing down this way, 11 blocks. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Then we're going to go up that way, 5 blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then we're going to swing back. Well, we don't even have to count it out now. Now we can just bring it right down over to the hallway that leads into cafeteria. There's no point in counting that out. And then we'll come over here to the side that leads from cafeteria to the hallway that leads to navigation and just bring those blocks right from the side of our gray concrete to this side of the gray concrete and there we go so now what we're going to do is like all the other times bring it up two more blocks and then count and cap it off with gray concrete and and you know what actually there's going to be let's put the window in first because then yeah let's just go put the window in first so we're going to come right over here to where there's this little you know <laughs> sideways thing we're going to put some gray concrete here some gray concrete here break out these blocks and if you don't have blocks underneath, I recommend putting blocks underneath so then you can just place in your glass real quick. And we're just going to do two rows more of glass like that. And then we'll bring up the gray concrete like this. And then we'll cap it off. Wait, that wasn't gray concrete. <laughs> that was the cyan. And then we'll cap it off with our terracotta. So, so now we're going to go around the whole thing with our two terracotta or light gray terracotta and then cap it off with our gray concrete. So there we go. Now, just like the shields room over there, we're going to have to now come underneath where we did our layout. If you did the layout or if you didn't, then, you know, just come right underneath where our hallways are. And we're going to come down five more blocks with our light gray terracotta. So one, two, three, four, five. And then on the fifth block, we're going to do our cyan terracotta for our flooring. So what we're going to do now is just go around the whole outskirts of our layout with five blocks of our light gray terracotta. 
And then what I want you to do is after you do all the wallings, to place in your cyan terracotta on the fifth block for your flooring. And then if you also did the layout, we're now just going to go around switching out our layout blocks with our light gray terracotta. And right here, when we get under the window, actually, we're going to have to put gray concrete. There we go. And then just finish it off with your light gray terracotta. So now that we have all our wallings and floorings in place, we're actually going to do the bottom here. I know on shields we started with the walkway, but I want to do the bottom first because there's going to be that curved piping with the lights that go into the laser beams. And I want to get the lights in first before we put in the walkway. So to get things started off down here, we're going to come to this bottom right corner that's closest to our cafeteria. And we're going to take out some blue terracotta. What we're going to do now is count in four blocks. One, two, three, four. Placing in three blue terracotta like this and three blue terracotta like that. Then we're going to bring our blue terracotta up to the third block right here. Like that. It should be three blocks away from your gray concrete. And then we're going to fill this all in with our blue terracotta. And then after we get this all the way up to the point we need it to be three blocks away, we're going to take out some daylight sensors, place them all along the tops of your blue concrete, and switch them over to night sensors. I think I called that concrete. It's light blue terracotta. Next up, we're going to bring our light blue terracotta up to the gray concrete like that and fill this all in. There we go. And then we're going to take out our daylight sensors once again, filling them all the way around. Switch them over to night sensors. And then right in the middle, we're going to place in one more light blue terracotta. Next up, what I want you to do is come down here and going underneath where our cafeteria walkway is, we're going to take out some purple terracotta and swing that all the way down to the end four times. So one, two, three, and number four like that. And then we're going to swing over here now, closest to navigation. And we're going to set up those laser missile thingies <laughs> so actually i completely forgot to take out this block we're still going to need our purple terracotta but we're also going to need a magenta terracotta so take out your magenta terracotta and right here from this corner we're going to place in two magenta two purple two magenta and then cap it off with purple like that and then we're going to make the same piping we did over there we're going to make a two by two of piping like this and let's just bring it out one for right now so now we're looking at something like this next up we're going to take out our purple terracotta once more and come down here and place in two here magenta and two purple and then connect it right to the side of it like that and then right on the side right here next to this purple we're going to break this block and place in a redstone lamp now what we're going to have to do is connect this side to this side so if you want to just bring it straight down you can it is on a bit of a curve, but you're not going to really be able to see it. And then also when we do the uh, the vent systems, it's actually going to break some of this when we do the vent systems. So you know what? Just, just to make it easy on us, you're not going to really be able to see it down here. Just take out your purple terracotta. It's going to be a little bit different from when I did it. But after I put the vents in the, at the end, it kind of broke it. So <laughs> it really didn't matter. So I'm just going to bring it straight down like this because you're just not going to see it. And it's going to end up getting broken anyway. And then every other block, we're going to place in a redstone lamp. So just skip a block, redstone lamp, skip a block, redstone lamp, and do that all the way to the end. Let's do it right to, yeah, here. Let's just do it right to here. And then we can come down this way, skipping a block, and bringing in our redstone lamp. So it looks something like this. And a lot of this right here is going to get broken. This <laughs> right here is going to get broken because we have to do our vent system later on. But now, if you want these working lights, it's actually really easy. All we're going to be using is an observer line. So if you don't really know too much about redstone, you know, you just if you place a bunch of observers like this with arrows coming out, let's say I put my redstone lamp here and then I update the observer over here. As you can see, 
it'll update my redstone lamp. But then you could also change the direction of the current by taking the arrow and facing it out from an arrow that's already facing this way. Because what it's doing is it's going to update this one, update this one, update this one, update this one. And then this one will update the arrow coming out of it. So now it will go on a curve. So if I put a lamp here and here and update it, both of those lamps will go off. So that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be making an observer line underneath these redstone lamps. Now, the best way to do this is to dig right underneath the block that has the redstone lamp on it. And then what we're going to do is face one of the observer blocks up into the redstone lamp. You know you place it in right when that arrow is facing up into the redstone lamp. So we're going to do that for every single one. And normally I would speed up the video here, but let's just do this together. Arrows facing up. Arrows facing up. And one more right here. Arrows facing up. This one's actually going to be the hardest one to get to. So let's just get right in there. We've got to go right underneath the block that has the redstone lamp and face that arrow up like that. So as long as you see the face of the observer underneath, you know you did it right. They have that little like weird, <laughs> that little weird, I don't know how to say it. But as long as you can see the face of the observer block, you're doing it right. So let's go ahead and place in some more observer blocks over here. There we go. Just make sure every single one of them is facing up into that redstone lamp. And then we'll fix the floor afterwards and of course you know if you don't really want to do this and you can actually skip this part <laughs> but we're just going to do this for every single one and that one right there so oh, i'm gonna have to break a little bit more than i want to like that there we go so now we can go ahead and fix our flooring and fix any of the purple that we had to take out as well so let's just fix up our floor now and we can fix up the wall over here as well if you broke out the wall you know just place it back in there we go place in our wall there yeah <laughs> And then we're going to go underneath to where we could see all the observer blocks we placed in. So let's go back down underneath the build. And now we should see a big line of observer blocks going all the way to the end. So now what we're going to do is just face observer blocks into each other right above these ones. So let's start right from the beginning. This is our starting one right here. And you'll see that little red dot. You know you're placing it right if you see the little red dot. And let's just bring it all the way down to the last observer block. And then over here, we're just going to come off of this observer block. See that little red dot? We're going to come off the side of it. We'll see a new red dot right here. And we're just going to bring that all the way down to the last observer block right here. Now, we don't want to bring it back over from here to there. Because then it's going to take too long for the lights to go off again. So what we're going to do is actually come back to this one that's in the corner between cafeteria and, you know, oxygen and all that stuff. And we're going to bring it off of this one. So just like I told you before, bring the arrow off of the arrow. See how this arrow is going that way off of it? We're going to come now this way off of it. Like that. And then we're actually going to turn this way now. And face the arrow off of this one. So now this one will update this one. And this one will update this one. And we're just going to bring it right back down. To right here. And then we're just going to come out one extra. See how the arrows are all facing each other. And now once we place this one coming out of that one. It will make our lights work. So now all we have to do is just come back up here. And there you guys have it. The lights are now going around into the lasers. And some of this is going to get broken later on. But <laughs> if you want the working vents, they're going to have to get broken. But there you guys have it. There's just the working lights. Now let's get started up. Oh, you know what? Actually, there is some more stuff down here. Now there is some like little piping sticking out down here. You don't have to do it. But I used like gray carpet, gray carpet, smooth stone slabs, and stone slabs. Just to make it look like some piping was sticking out of the walls. And then I just, just like we did with the electrical room. Where we kind of just went crazy with the wiring just to make it look all, you know, zany and wacky and <laughs> zany. That's hilarious. But uh, we're going to basically do the same thing. But since it is piping, you know, don't make sure they don't go on the side like that as well. We want to make sure they're going right into each other. So I just went like this. I, I just literally brought it out like that. Let's say I had some piping going like this right there. Let's say I had some random piping right in the middle of the room like that. Uh, I went over here and just... I, I was just throwing stuff down all over the place, guys. To be honest, <laughs> just like the other room, I was just kind of throwing things down. And then what I did was, too, I used some carpet in this room so it looks like, you know, there's some depth to the piping. But like I said, no one should really be going down here, I guess. <laughs> so this is completely up to you how you want to set up the piping in here. Just make sure you don't go on an angle like this because then it's just going to look weird. Just like the other room when we did it. So I'm just going to go like this. Let's just add a few here. And, you know... There we go. <laughs> just, just go crazy with it. It's it's completely up to you. But we're not going to really worry about that. Now we're going to do the walkways that hook to each other. And then we have to add in the, the big, you know, chair that 
commands the lasers at the so for right now just take out your smooth stone slabs and your acacia trap doors just like we did over here in the shields we're going to be making another one of these like circle walkway thingies but it's going to be a little bit different from that one but we are going to start it off the same exact way so right from where we have our glass panes coming from navigation and from cafeteria we're just going to hook them together with upside down slabs so come right off the glass panes and just connect them together just like that and now do that for every single one three times so it, it does start off the same way as shields but we're going to have a different outcome towards the end so we're going to go like this no not like that like <laughs> like this there we go so now all of them are connected together then we're going to come right to this corner and place in three more one two three and that's going to be one of the corners for our circle and then right where we placed those three come out right from here one two and three same thing on this side right from there one two and three and now this is where it's going to get different so coming right here this is our original three wide area this is our original three wide area coming right off of this one that's next to our three right here we're going to bring it right down to the wall like that now for this one we are not going to be bringing it straight down to the wall we're actually going to come out from where our middle area is past our three right here one two three like that one two three one two and three and now off of this one is where we're going to connect it to the wall there we go and that's going to be the entire thing so now all we have to do is take our slabs and fill in this entire area between that marker and this marker there we go i know it looks a little weird but that's almost how it looks like in the game <laughs> almost <laughs> but now we're going to take out our acacia trap doors and do the same thing we did on the shields we're just going to take our acacia trap doors open them up go right down the edge open them up over here as well and then any area that is opened up we just have to place an acacia trap door off of this one and open it up same thing here acacia trap door open it up this one here open it up and we're going to do the same thing over here. There we go. So that's going to be the entire walkway for weapons. Now we're going to build that giant chair. So for the chair, you're going to need red concrete, smooth stone slabs, light gray concrete, prismarine brick stairs, crimson fence gates, and lime stained glass panes. So you can go off of any hallway right here. It really doesn't matter. But we're just going to come out one block. From here, placing the slab, red concrete, slab. Then we're going to switch over here and do the same thing. Slab, red concrete, slab. And now do that all the way around, making a perfect square sh circle thing. <laughs> and then right in the middle, we're going to fill in the entire flooring with our light gray concrete. There we go. Then we're going to take out our prismarine brick stairs, face it towards the window right there. Take out your crimson fence gates, place it right in front of it, and open them up. Then we're gonna come up a block right in front of it, take out your lime stained glass panes and place in three of them. One, two, and come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. there we go, three. <laughs> and that's going to be the chair completely done. Next up, we're gonna come over to our window and we're gonna place in black concrete here with an item frame off of it, not a trap door, an item frame. <laughs> and then we're gonna come over here and one in, one in from this acacia trap door right here, break it. And now right from here, we're gonna come one block out break it and place in your birch trap door backwards like that and that's it guys we are completely done with the weapons room now we are completely well not completely done but we are done with every single room of the skeleton it's crazy seeing two of them <laughs> right next to each other like that so now all that's left to do all we have left to do is just to hook up the vents from navigation to weapons navigation to shielding and then we have to hook up you know Oh, did I ever put my trap door in cafeteria? No, I did not. Well, we'll worry about that one last, but then we have to put in the uh, trap door. Oh, wait, did I never put the trap door here? Okay, did. Oh, okay. <laughs> we have to hook up the hallway to admin, to cafeteria, and then back over. So let's actually jump into doing, let's do the weapons and navigation and the shielding and navigation because those are going to be exactly the same. So let's come right down over here to weapons. Now, the reason I want to start from weapons is because, like I said, some things are going to get broken in here. <laughs> meaning this line right here the lights will still work because all the uh, observer blocks are underneath so don't worry about that but 
some things are going to get broken here. So we're going to come to weapons. We're going to open it up. And there's a little bit of a difference to weapons and shield. We have to make these slabs full blocks. So when we come into our vent system, you know, just place a couple of extra slabs around it like that. Then we're going to take out, just like when we did our other vents, we're going to need light gray concrete, ladders, water buckets, and signs. So just like we did with all the other vents, we're just going to come down a block, place in our ladder away from our trap door. And then we're just going to come down our two blocks from our ladder, like usual. One, two. And then we're going to go down like this. And then we can place in the rest of these four right here. So we get that one high gap. And this is where things are going to get broken. We're basically going to bring this going all the way down this way. If you don't, if you don't want to break it, you can leave it this way. But I want the vents to be the same color. So this right here is going to get broken. And we're going to bring it all the way down to right here. The reason why I did this is so we can hide up the vent from any place. When you're up here, you won't be able to see the vent. Right here so i just brought it right underneath the entire walkway and then we're just going to bust out this wall right here for our vent then we can bring the other lines of walls going all the way down like this just like when we did the other vent it's going to be a giant plus sign i guess <laughs> and bring this one all the way down over here there we go and then bring this one down right here as well and actually you know what before we do that let's place in our sign right here so then we could place in our water as well like that oh okay i thought oh boy that was scary i thought it was gonna go over here and break all the carpet down there thank goodness that did not do that okay <laughs> and just bring this going all the way down here and opening it up right here and now what we're gonna do is find the vent for navigation so let's just go into navigation here it is do the same thing come right down underneath place in our four blocks right around it place your ladder away from it right here and then just come down your two extra blocks. And now we're going to wrap it right over to there. Very, very simple. Just bring it right down to here. And then hook it in. There we go. And do the same thing with every other part. So actually, you know what? Let's put in our ladder first. <laughs> I mean, our, our, yeah. our sign. <laughs> just so we don't forget. And bring it back down to here. Oh, you know what? We're also going to need sea lanterns. That's right. Because I like to put a sea lantern on every corner. So let me... Oh, look. Sea lantern. Perfect. <laughs> that was right there for me. Thank you, Sea Lantern, for being there. There we go. Wrap this right here. Bring this over to here and put a Sea Lantern right on our corner. And bring it all the way down to the end. And there we go. That vent is now completely done. So if we come in here, add our water bucket right to that ladder. There we go. Come on. And then we go through the vent all the way into weapons. Uh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. And that vent is now working. So now all we're going to do is the same thing we did here at shields. Same exact thing. So we're going to come over to our vent. Open it up. Go inside. Place your slabs first. There we go. And then we're going to place in our light gray concrete. Place the ladder away from the trap door. Come down your two blocks and bring it right over. And the good thing about shields is nothing's going to get broken. <laughs> Nothing will get broken in shields. So we're going to bring that right over here. Open it up. Make our plus sign. There we go. Now we can just bring the blocks going all the way down. To right here. Let's place in our sign. <laughs> and then we'll place in our water afterwards. Last time I put the water, I actually scared myself. I, th I thought the water was going to break all the carpet. And now this room is generally carpets. So I'm just going to wait to put my water in later. There we go. Bring that right down there. I kind of trap myself in here. And there we have it. And then we're going to come over to our navigations. Open up the trap door. Come inside. There we go. Place in our ladder away from it. Bring it down two more. One, two. And now just bring it over to right here. And there we go. Now the vents are done for navigation to shields. So now all we have to do is just go in here, place our water off of the staircase. Let's go inside and test it out to make sure everything is good. Everything is perfect. Let's place our water here now. And there is the vents done for navigation. Well, for all three of them. <laughs> so now we're going to do the vents for admin, cafeteria, and hallway. Hallway. So first things first, actually, let's put the vent inside cafeteria because I completely forgot about it right at the beginning of the game. We're going to go ahead and come right over here and we're going to come one block out from this gray concrete. It's going to be right here. It should be one block from the gray concrete and two 
from this seating. So let's go ahead and just place it in backwards. There we go. We can go inside of it and let's place in our four gray blocks. One, two, three, four with our ladder facing away. Now let's go ahead and do it for the rest. Now this one is, oh, oh, hey, please, please. <laughs> this one's actually uh, one of the more annoying ones because we have to wrap it around oxygen right here because we have all those of uh, the dirt and the, the sea lanterns. So it gets a pretty annoying. So let's go over here to admin now. Open it up. Please go down. <laughs> there we go. Place in our four blocks with our ladder facing away from our trap door. And then last but not least, we're gonna go over here to hallway, open it up, go down, and then go ahead and place in your four blocks with your ladder facing away from the trap door. So now all we have to do is just hook them all together. So there's one, there's one, and there's one. Now, like I said, it's gonna get a bit of an annoying, it's gonna be a bit annoying because we're gonna have to bring it straight through the middle of oxygen right here because if we don't then we're gonna have to make like a zigzag pattern here and i just don't like that <laughs> i don't like having that zigzag pattern like that so what's going to happen is cafeteria is going to go into both admin and our hallway right through the middle of oxygen right here so let's just go ahead and start from cafeteria and we'll bring it down our two blocks like that and now we're going to wrap it right down to here and we're gonna have to go straight through the middle of oxygen. So let's see. As long as you can make that T-shape with your hallway, it really doesn't matter, guys. It, it just truly doesn't matter. As long as you can fit it. Like, let's say if we did it like that. See, it'll go right past it and make it just fine over to... Where's hallway? hallway? Hallway, There's hallway right there. So it will make it fine right past it there. So as long as you can make it straight through the middle without it hitting anything, then you are perfect. You're good to go. So let's just do it right here. That should be fine. It doesn't have to be exactly the same as mine. <laughs> like I said, as long as it can make it through. But then remember, we have to go out this way now, right here, to get around to admin. So let's just come out this way as well. And then we're gonna wrap it, make sure we can make it past. So as long as it can make it past it, we are absolutely fine. So this way, from cafeteria, this way is gonna go to admin. And this way is gonna go to hallway. So now we can just bring down hallways, one, two, bring it out a little bit. Cause like we, like I said, we don't want anything hitting each other. Well, I guess it could technically hit that one. It really doesn't matter. <laughs> it's the same color. So now we're going to bring it out like that. And now we could start wrapping it this way. Cause we want it to connect to there, but we don't want it to hit anything over here as well. So let's just bring it out a little bit and then we'll connect them together. Like that. There we go. Now they're connected together. So as like, like I said, as long as it doesn't hit anything, you can make it go any which way you want. I just don't want it to have like crazy zigzags in here. I don't want it to go like on a sideways angle for the vents. I want everything to be nice and straight. So let's go ahead and bring this down here. Bring this down here. There we go. We'll bring this up right here. And then this one's going to go over to admin. So we have to leave this open right here. And let's bring this right down over to admin now. We'll worry about putting in the ceiling last. So as long as it goes around and there's admin right over there. So let's just bring it down over to admin. Where's admin? There it is. So now we're going to come down our two, one, two. This is going to be the floor. Let's just wrap it right here. And that will connect over to cafeteria. And now we have to connect admin over to here. So let's go ahead and, hmm. You know what? Yeah, yeah let's just go. I, I think I went this way first and then I made another turn and another turn. But let's just go sh you know what? Yeah, I'll just keep it that way. I'll just, <laughs> like I said, just make sure you don't hit any of the walls. So let's just bring it down. Oh, that's right. That's why I did that. I'm like, I was wondering why I did that. It's because of the flooring right here gets in the way. That's right. Admin's flooring gets in the way. That's why I brought it over here. Okay. So as you can see right here, the flooring will get in the way of the ceiling. So I, I went, what I did was I wrapped it this way. Like that. And then I had a few extra zigzags in here. Because I wanted to make it past the ceiling right here. That's why. Okay. <laughs> I was wondering why I went out that way last time. Well, now I know. <laughs> uh, see, I'm smart. I thought of it before already. <laughs> so that's why I went out that way. And then I brought it this way. And I connected them together like this. That's why I had all those zigzags in there. That's right. Oh, man. So I was... <laughs> that, man, that's annoying. That is a bit of annoyance. Ad admin getting in the way of admin. There we go. Going to wrap that around there. And bring it straight down into here. 
So yeah, you're gonna you're still gonna have to make a zigzag kind of one over here. But there's no other way of getting around that admin right there. But there we go. Now they're connected together. And now we just got to put the roof on it. And we're going to add in some sea lanterns over here as well. Or else it's going to be super dark in there. You know, I could just go right in here. I'm just going to just go right inside the vent for now. And we could just walk around it like this and place in the ceiling. There we go. I'm going to add another sea lantern here on this corner. Because like I said, I don't want it to be super dark in here. And then we can add another sea lantern right here where it connects into these ones. There we go. This is the most annoying vent of them all. This is 100% the most annoying vent because oxygen and admin get in the way of everything. There we go. Bring this right over now. Ah! <laughs> I guess I never finished this part off. <laughs> so I'm going to put another sea lantern on this corner. And let's wrap it right over here. To admin, which is super annoying. There we go. Come on to this side. Place in your sea lantern on the corner. There we go. And then we'll just wrap it all the way down. Like that. And same thing here. Wrap it all the way down. And that should be all of them connected together. So let's just get a bottom view. This is the most annoying part right here. 100%. Because of the flooring of admin getting in the way. But that should be them all. So now what I'm going to do is we're going to go into... Let's just go in from the cafeteria. Because now we have to add in our water and our sign. So let's go in first. Place your sign in. And then we'll place in the water. And then swim through. Oh, I never finished the ceiling over here. Wow. <laughs> Good thing I went in through cafeteria. There we go. Now we'll go through cafeteria. Oh boy. So back up into cafeteria. There we go. So let's go through it now. Let's go through the zigzaggy part. Over here. I never finished the ceiling here too. There we go. Well, I'll finish it now. And then we'll place in our sign right here. And then place our water bucket right there. There we go. And then we'll go over to admin now. We should have this crazy zigzag pattern. <laughs> and right here we'll have a sign on this side. And we're going to need a sign on this side as well. So the water doesn't go everywhere. And there we go. There's the vents completely done but there you guys have it you are now 100 completely done with building the skeld from among us inside of minecraft so if you want to see more among us maps in the future make sure to leave a like on the video subscribe and let people know about this map as well and i was thinking maybe doing if if it does well i was thinking maybe doing uh th that snow map i keep polis or something like that i keep forgetting the name of it but i was thinking of doing that one next depending on how well this one does but guys as always if you enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like subscribe and stay tuned with my next how to build video. All right, guys. Peace.